Hi, welcome. In this video, we will learn how to solve the following problem. Suppose we are given the production function y equals fl, f is increasing in l, here l denotes labor and y denotes output. We are also given the equilibrium employment as l equals minimum of half comma 1 minus w naught by p, where w naught is an exogenously given minimum wage and p is the price level. So employment is half if half is less than 1 minus w naught by p and it is 1 minus w naught by p if 1 minus w naught by p is less than half. Using this information we will get the aggregate supply function by simply plugging in the equilibrium level of employment in the production function. So the aggregate supply function is y equals f of minimum of half comma 1 minus w naught by p. So aggregate supply function is f of minimum of half comma 1 minus w naught by p. We can also write it as y equals f of 1 minus w naught by p when 1 minus w naught by p is less than half and it is f of half if half is less than 1 minus w naught by p. The condition 1 minus w naught by p is less than half is equivalent to p is less than 2 w naught and the condition that half is less than 1 minus w naught by p is equivalent to p is greater than or equal to 2 w naught. The question here is that what's going to happen if w naught goes up? Okay. So we want to figure out what will happen to the aggregate supply curve whether it's going to shift up or shift down or it's going to shift to the left or it's going to shift to the right. In order to find this, uh, we'll first plot aggregate supply as a function of price. So this is how it's going to look when P is less than 2 W naught. So this is 2 W naught and when P is less than 2 W naught in this region, we are going to plot F of 1 minus W naught by P. So the intercept of aggregate supply function is going to be W naught because when p is equal to w naught, the employment is zero. It's one minus one, that's zero. Okay, so f of zero is zero. So the intercept is going to be w naught. And then as p increases, w naught by p decreases. So one minus w naught by p increases. And since employment is increasing, so output goes up. Okay, so the production function is increasing in uh, the employment and therefore aggregate supply curve will be increasing in price. So this is upward sloping, okay? And then when we reach 2 W naught, so just plug in 2 W naught here, we are gonna get half as the employment level. And therefore the output is gonna be F of half when P is equal to 2 W naught. And beyond this price, like higher, if price is higher than 2 W naught, then the output is gonna be F of half. So this is how the aggregate supply curve is going to look. Now what's going to happen if, if this, instead of this W0, we have W1, which is higher than W0. Naturally, the intercept will now be at a higher level. Okay? And even this kink will be at a higher level because uh, the intercept of the new, new curve will be at W1, which is higher than W0. And this kink will also be at a higher level at 2 W1. So this is how the curve is going to shift. So intercept has shifted upwards, kink has shifted upwards, the entire curve has shifted upwards. So this is an upward shift. So we're going to say that aggregate supply curve because of increase in minimum wage will shift upwards. Thank you.